It's a freaking party at the Target Center. It's a celebration in the Twin Cities. And we're all howling at the moon, baby. Wolves beat the Suns resoundingly. A uh, just absolute <laughs> ass kicking from the third quarter on. You like the studio? <laughs> oh, you're all you get? You're a real Wolves fan, huh? <laughs> And the youth are getting pumped up. Anthony Edwards got everybody electric right now. He just took over in the third quarter. It was off to the races from there. People still, I mean, look at this. The game ended like 10, 20 minutes ago. People are still just trickling out because people can't get enough of the world. You want to come over and give your thoughts on the Wolves game real quick? Let's we'll we'll see. See? Yeah. What do you think about the game, brother? It's awesome. Long time waiting to see a playoff win here. Oh. Wolves in four? Hi. Okay. Hi. Yeah, you're like pumping the brakes. I appreciate that, Steve. How about you? What's your name? Teresa. Teresa. What do you think? Back I am the game. so impressed with our Wolves. What a fun game. Could not be happier. Wolves winning the series or what? Absolutely. Who's your, fa who, who's your favorite player? Oh, it's Nas Reed or Conley. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a doctor. Right. They're, all They're all kings. They're all kings. Appreciate you. Yeah. Look at the Rosie love. Ogling him in the window like he's a gorilla at the zoo right now. But Mark Rosen, he's oh wow. wow, what a guy! Boy, sure, he'll come out coming out of the cage, and Rosie's doing just fine. Could be seen in Las Vegas, but he's here for the local. You love it. Oh my gosh, a whole line. Max, you want a photo with Rosie? Rosie, Matt, this young fan wants a photo with you. <laughs> Long time. Oh, huge fan. You know what? Yeah. Going on. What are we? Doing? Oh my God! <laughs> the master himself. Oh. Oh. You know, it's just a play. Let me. How old are you? Uh, twenty. Just turned twenty. Just had my twentieth birthday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You liar. Uh, I've been waiting for twenty bleeping years for a game like this. Kyle Anderson. Oh man. Come on, Slow Mo! We appreciate you, Slow Mo! Appreciate you, big dog. You're killing it. He's hurting, man. He's hurting, man. Left the game. Second quarter with a hit point. Yeah, I just saw him. He's in the bad boy. Well, Asher coming off the bench, and uh, they, didn't, they didn't need him. They didn't need him today. Hopefully, he can heal up on Tuesday night. That's still a big piece of the team. Oh, wow. Man. I mean, who wasn't balling out tonight, Rosie? The whole team? Oh, my friend. Set the tone for everything, and they uh, Durant was doing Durant things. Wing defenders that correct do a thing about Grayson Allen, who was three point shooter in the league. Yeah, didn't make them do a damn no. thing. Wah, wah. They don't like the physical play. No, we, we, we push the script on them. We were positive on their part. We out physical them, which is something that the Suns did to us all season. Exactly. I mean, the Wolves just completely flipped the script on the Suns game one. And two. Don't see they would like back to KG, but he's got skills in there. Absolutely. Whoa. Super star. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Yeah. You're just simple off right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're nice. You got some moves, little man? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Let me, I'm going to play some defense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 See out there. Foul. Foul. <laughs> foul for the Suns. That would have been a foul. Appreciate you, big dog. So what are you doing with Rosie today here? We're doing fan line after the network post game. We got Alan Horton. We got Cal. They're handling the network post game right now. But me and Rosie, we're going we gonna to crank it up a little bit because it's a party in the Twin Cities tonight. We're celebrating the Wolves game one victory. Just smack Phoenix right in the mouth. So if you got any questions, comments, concerns if you just want to call in and yell hootie who we'll appreciate that if you just want to comment and yell nasri we can do that too because we're just celebrating baby hey how's it going yes ma'am yes ma'am hey guys we're about to get it real quick i'll tell people up again
Yeah. 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 All I cared about. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Look. I got my jersey. Oh, look at that. Oh, damn, that's clean. Okay, not a stain on that. I know. Thing. I know. But I, yeah, got, keep, it's just I got my jersey. And then he's, he's got cat. Oh, yeah. oh, I got the cat jersey. Dang. Yeah. Repping yeah. the dynamic duo. Yeah. yeah. I love that, man. She's got cat. I got cat. Awesome, real friends. What's your name? I'm Laura. Laura, what's your name? I'm Rosalind. Rosalind, nice to meet you all. I appreciate you coming to the game and everything and support. So the Wolves couldn't have done it without y'all. Uh, y'all were the real superstars of the game. So much fun! Yeah, so much fun! Best game ever! Was he at Facebook? Is there any way I get a picture with you? Oh wow! Nice meeting y'all. Thank you guys so much. I'll see y'all in game two. Okay? Okay. Yeah. We're going to start trading pictures for thoughts. Look at this. This is all I wanted. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> no, no Nasri, no Anthony Edwards, just Max. Wow. Mr. Rosen, can you opt in the picture too, please? Oh, wow. You too, Zach. Oh, wow. All right. Let's do it. It's a party up in here. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. I appreciate you guys all the way over here. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Hey, real quick, tell the camera what you're doing. Absolutely. Camera, I just hey, you appreciate too. the kill Alexander Walker hitting a bunch of threes tonight. That was sweet. So everyone showed up. It was good. So Perfect. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Hey. Gotcha. Thanks, Stay Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks for coming out, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Go on, man. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I think one thing that we'll do here, because we're going to be here for a long time. Like, we're going to have this in May and June, July. July some even. crazy yeah, we're delay. We're going to parade going so, all the way through the whole summer. If you want to know where we are, if you've never been here before, there's the uh, entrance to the uh, parking lot and ramp and area. There's the main concourse entrance here. Or, I'm sorry, Skyway entrance. There's Rosie all ready to go. He's ready to go. He's, He's all set. He's and everything. He's jacked. We had to tell Rosie to put his shirt on. We're like, Rose, you can't take your shirt off in public, man. But he was, he yeah. was ready to go. He's ready to go. He's a, he's a true pro. And we're all celebrating. We're all just happy to, to have a Wolves win, a dominant Wolves win at that. So, I mean, this is, I think the plan here is to make this the epicenter of the party after the game post game party here because we they got they gave us this real estate max we gotta start dressing this up we really do that's uh we gotta get some like beads or something get some confetti is there something we could get you know, a strobe light or two yeah maybe? we should get a strobe light we like, need a well, there's the dj in there that kills it but we need a dj specifically out here for the hashtag care fan post game party i just invented that off the top of my head hashtag care fan post game party remember that I'm going to show you the screen here. This is what Kyle wants. Hey! What's up, Kyle? Can we get one of those? What did it say? How did it say? Oh, I mean... I said you said Kyle wanted me to show the screen. No, I'll show you that. Hootie hoo. Yeah, we need that. I get a hootie hoo. You can always get a hootie hoo, my brother. Is that... What? Is that a thing? <laughs> it's, not a, it's not an urban dictionary term. When... It's uh, just... Uh, you know, that's how, that's how real players call out to. Okay. Hootie You know, I think... I just heard Ant yelling back. Actually, if you can listen really closely in the background. So 120 Wolves, 95 for the, as Nick calls it in the chat, the Phoenix Charmans. The Phoenix Charmans because they saw. They yes. Are soft. They couldn't handle it when they weren't getting the calls from the refs that they were getting in the regular season, which is part of the reason that they were dominant against the Wolves. It's starting to look a little dicey in the first half. Anthony Edwards had three fouls at the end of the second quarter. But then he comes out crazy efficient started picking his shots uh picking his spots on the floor 18 points in the third quarter i think in the last six minutes of the third quarter it was something like a 21 to 5 uh run by the Timberwolves, and from there on out it was off to the races anytime phoenix even did anything remotely positive they, they'd hit a shot boom all of a sudden Nas read three phoenix might hit a shot boom anthony edwards three boom Nikhil alexander walker steal they just kept the momentum going kept their foots on their necks and it was never really close 
after the third quarter. Such a freaking exciting win from the Timberwolves. And let's hope they can keep it going. Anthony Edwards' uh, post-game interview in front of the whole crowd and everything was just showered with MVP chants. It was really cool to see him kind of take it in, soak it in. Uh, it seems like a moment that's going to be in the future Anthony Edwards documentary someday. This was a breakout game for him. But the, after soaking it in and taking it in, he said, we got three more games to go, y'all. And he's yeah. right. The job is not finished, as Kobe Bean Bryant once said. The job is not finished. We'll be back up in the crib for game two at the Target Center. But tonight we celebrating, we partying. We got the Wolves fan line coming up next, right after Cal and Allen are done with their post game. So if you've got any questions, comments, concerns, hootie hoos, holl at me. You want to slide in my DMs? You want to slide in Rosie's, Rosie's DM? You want me to put Rosie's number out in public? I'll do whatever. We're so excited. I'll do anything. So we got Jake says, uh, or I'm sorry, Liz that says, this is the content I need. Keep it up. Thank that you, Mctacular Liz. says, the, that fro doing fro things. How's it look? It is in postseason form i mean duh. uh kyle's asked if there's an after party at the vu and i'll tell you what we can get a cage here we need to get a we cage at the vu from the vu cage oh how great would that be oh man me and rosie we already talked to crunch about it we're borrowing a t-shirt cannon we're just filling it up with hundreds just making it is that legal by the way it's the t-shirt cannon they have it's very legal they, it is very i'm legal. shocked you ever heard of the second amendment zach i guess so on that's unbelievable on the me and rosie constitution the right to make it rain and that's what we're going to do tonight making it rain dollar bills speaking of dollar bills saw dollar bill Kirill, Kirill the thrill at the game with Matt yeah, how about Rose that as well wild showing love to the Timberwolves. their season just ended yesterday that's how you know the twin cities is just united on a different level other cities they're gigantic yeah they got the they got this and that they got the glitz and the glam but the twin cities were all a big family here so even the wild show up to the wolves winner what a game i mean Kirill kaprizov might just ditch the skates and all of a sudden put on some anthony edwards ones and he might want to hit the court after that what an inspiring game uh so i just i seriously cannot be more elated after that game it's exactly what they're going to do to get momentum in there all right well we'll be at the cage so if you're uh, still if you're wandering, wandering around target center Swing by and wave and oogle and ah at, at that. Are we doing a button a game here? A button a win by the end of this is the uh, the oh, old shirt. Yeah, I, had to, uh, I had to unbutton it because Abby said it's a party, so I said, "Oh, if it's a party, all right, if it's a party, so I'm one it. button." Yeah, the ladies over there loving it. They like, oh, that's <laughs> like it's the strip club already. They loving it. She just said to unbutton some more. I'm not going to do that. I'm, trying, I'm gonna try to keep it PG even yeah. on the stream. But I it's a day game. I it's a day game. When we get to 9:30, I can't. I can't take these panties. Please, just don't take oh my them back. God. Please. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Look at that. Be crazy. Catch you on Wolves fan line in just a little bit. Brandon Clark, top of the key, hand off to Tyus. He'll get airborne back to Clark. His shot rejected and got the swat. Delos scoops it up. He's down the run. He gives it through with the right hand. It's a five. Oh. What a way to finish up that third frame. Again, a 21-5 to run over the final six minutes and change. Ant scoring or assisting on 17 of those 21 points. And uh, a 20-point advantage is certainly nice when there's only 12 minutes left in the ball game. We even saw the Wolves balloon the lead as large as 25 just a few minutes into that fourth. But the Suns put in together a rally. They got as close as 16, still with about five minutes left in the ball game and fans who can remember back a few postseasons ago when the Memphis Grizzlies caused plenty of nightmares with their fourth quarter rallies. It caused the sold out target center crowd here tonight to momentarily clutch their collective pearls, but a Mike Conley layup 
boosted the lead back to 18, and Anthony Edwards slamming the door shut on any Phoenix Suns comeback hopes just a couple possessions later. He'll give it back to Durant against Gobert up top. Rudy poked it free. Durant's got it. Then Ant strips him. In on a breakaway and a two-handed slam. Edwards, 33 points, nine rebounds, six assists. And Ant registers his second steal of the night in a breakaway slam that may have sealed the deal. Timberwolves up by 20 with 3.37 left to go in game one. Durant didn't see him coming. Beautiful sequence there from Anthony Edwards capitalizing on the Kevin Durant turnover. Timberwolves uh, did that really all night. 15 turnovers for the Phoenix Suns, 23 Wolves points off of those Phoenix miscues. We knew all about the turnover troubles the Wolves had in the most recent meeting last weekend. Again, 19 in the opening half alone, but the Wolves turned the tables. They had an advantage in the turnovers. Actually, each team with 15 technically, so played Phoenix to a draw, but the Wolves scored four more points off of their opponent's turnovers here this afternoon. Anthony Edwards and the Timberwolves with that breakaway slam, providing the exclamation point on what ultimately was a 120 to 95 win. The Wolves now have a 1 0 series lead in this best of seven first round clash. Ant led the way with those 33 points, pulled down nine rebounds, also six assists, those six times, second only to Mike Conley's team high seven helpers. But again, Ant was the offense in that third quarter. It allowed the Wolves to build some serious separation. And they never gave back that double-digit cushion. Impressive way to keep their foot on the gas and finish off this potent Suns team. Kevin Durant led Phoenix with his 31 points. 11 came in that opening frame. He had 18 at the half. Wolves at least made him work for it. 31, 11 of 17 from the field. And uh, again, other than his 31, Devin Booker struggled. 5 of 16 from the field, just 18 points. Bradley Beal. He had 15 on 6 of 10 shooting. Grayson Allen uh, with just four points, leaving pretty quickly in the second half with an injury. We'll see if that impacts his availability as the series moves on. Let's get inside that Wolves locker room right now. Sounds like Rudy Gobert ready to meet with the assembled media. Personally, and how focused were you guys, especially defensively, coming into this matchup today? I mean, all... Our focus and our urgency was obviously at an all-time high, you know, and uh, I love how we respected the game plan for the 48 minutes and how we, yeah, from the first to the last, you know, and we, we try to not let them um, get a hot start like they did the, the three other games. And, uh, and yeah, and then they do, just do what we do. You said after the loss on Sunday that you guys had to play big and everybody had to want to play big basically like is this kind of what you were envisioned with the way you guys really dominated the glass in the interior yeah, that's who we are we we you know we we have top players we <laughs> might as well use them you know and uh, obviously they're really a they're a really talented team and uh, they give us different fits and you know and they they try to make our life difficult and they tonight they did a some some sometimes they did a good job doing that but um i'm really proud of the way we the way we competed, you know, from anyone that everyone that came to the game, uh, you know, Naz, uh, Nikki, all these guys, man, they did a great job just uh, just competing. Rudy, you guys really kind of opened it up in the third quarter there. Just what did you see, or what 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 ramped up there to allow you to take it from a from a closer I think game? It started to like with our defense, uh, you know, being able to get stops, being able to secure rebounds. And then um, I thought we did a great job just moving the ball, you know, making the easy, simple play. And was tremendous uh, in that quarter, you know, just uh, being aggressive, but also uh, almost like not forcing, you know, just uh, making the right play every time. And, and uh, you know, we we got open shots every time. And we, yeah, we, we, made, we, made, we made a lot of shots, but we also missed some. And but we, these are shots that we live with. And played well last playoffs and you know started off strong here as first person as young as he is is it is it unique for you guys to be able to rely on that as much as as, as you guys do i mean he's our guy you know he's uh like i said he's uh, i don't see him as a 23 year old you know he's our guy and uh and you know and uh, you know it's, it's those games are an amazing opportunity for him to um yeah, to show who he is, show who he is, and also to keep getting better. You know, there is no better game than a playoff game to uh, to get some good experience. And uh, you know, is uh, every every game is gonna 
Yeah, it's gonna make him a, a better player. I mean, it feels good. It feels good when you make the right play, you know. And like I said, you know, make or miss, you know, when you make the right play, everyone, everyone feels good about it. And and then obviously defensively, we, I think it's contagious. You know, I think it's a, uh, I think it carries over to the defense. Even if we, we don't want, uh, you know, when we don't play well offensively, we don't want that to carry over to the defense. But I truly believe that it does. You know, and obviously, uh, taking care of the ball was was huge. You know? Off the floor, center off the floor more in this matchup today went really small. How do you? I mean, you guys played some zone. How, how do you think it handled those minutes? I think it was good for us. You know, we kind of. I was kind of prepared for them to do that at some point. If they if they if they struggle in the game, uh, obviously it's a great, it's a smart adjustment to try to, yeah, to try to mix things up and try to get us out of the coffin zone. But personally, I'm comfortable guarding uh, anyone and. Uh, and I trust my teammates to, to, you know, to compete the same way. So it's uh, it's not not something that we haven't seen, but obviously with who they are and the talent that they have, it's uh, yeah, it's a fun challenge for us. Yeah. Rudy Gobert meeting with the media there just moments ago after Minnesota's 120 to 95 win over the Phoenix Suns. It might get lost as you glance at the box score and see the glitzy 33 from Anthony Edwards or Nikhil Alexander Walker with 18 off the bench. But Rudy, uh, ever ever so trusty with his 14 points, 16 rebound, double-double, 4 of 6 from the field. How about 6 of 7 from the free throw line? And, of course, anchoring that Wolves defense that held the Suns under 100 points, under 45% from the field, and nearly under uh, 30% from deep. They ended up connecting on 9 of 28 from distance, a 32% clip. Wolves get the win, though. That's what matters. Certainly lots to be pleased about from this effort here tonight as uh, they had the 10-point halftime lead, hit the gas in the third with that 21-5 run over the final six minutes and change to cruise to this 25-point result. Let's take one final pause on our network postgame coverage. We'll come back and hopefully hear from Anthony Edwards getting to the podium soon right here on the Timberwolves Radio Network. TimberTech and TimberTech.com not only are the best in the business, but the decks they develop and the decks they build are the highest of quality. In fact, you will endure a lifetime of happiness with that deck with TimberTech. So ask for TimberTech when putting together your next project, and that also can include porches. TimberTech.com is where you find the free samples. Once again, start at TimberTech.com. Why do we say I'm into basketball? Because basketball's exciting, like catching a T-shirt from a cannon or feeling the pulse of a packed arena. There's the in-your-face slam dunks, the highlight reel alley oops, and the three-point buzzer beaters. It all gets your heart pounding. Just like playing the lottery. Minnesota Lottery. I'm in. Must be 18 or older to play. Hello, I'm Matt Meyer, fifth-generation farmer from Clearwater, Minnesota, and owner of Thousand Hills Lifetime Grazed Grass-Fed Beef. We believe the tastiest, most nutritious beef comes from cattle that are regeneratively grazed for their lifetime. Never confined to a feedlot, never fed GMO plants or grains, and not exposed to chemical pesticides like glyphosate. Please find our grass-fed beef at Coburn's and your local food co-op. Thousand Hills Lifetime Grazed, nourishing soil, plants, cattle, and people by holistically grazing cattle for their lifetime. Timberwolves victorious in this game one against the Phoenix Suns, a 120-95 to win. Anthony Edwards was special, especially in that second half. 18 in the third quarter, 8 of 11 from the field. Over the final six minutes, Ant and the Timberwolves pieced together a 21-5 to run. They built a 20-point advantage entering the fourth and cruised to the win. Let's Go back inside that press room at the podium, both Anthony Edwards and Nikhil what, Alexander-Walker. In what Walker. ways do you feel like you guys were significantly better to kind of flip the result? Um, I don't know, man. Um, we got to go back and watch the film. But uh, I think um, Jaden did a great job tonight. Even Cat. Cat did a great job. Durant made a lot of tough shots, which he's been doing his whole career. Um, but other than that, I think we did a good job as a group tonight. 
Finch said this felt like the urgency and desperation you guys showed in the first couple months of the season. Is that comparable, I guess, how you guys felt tonight defensively, loose balls? Yeah, for sure. I mean, everything. We was we was going after everything, every rebound. Um, Rudy was at the rim the entire night. He was switching on guards, moving his feet, getting steals. It was it was fun to watch Rudy go out there and showcase um, the defensive player of the year stuff. So it, it was dope. And I think uh, Mike met with you guys uh, earlier this week. Just how much did it mean to you to hear him talk about how much this means to him? Uh, it meant a lot, man, knowing that um, he, I think he said he hadn't been to the conference finals since he was 24. So um, that's crazy, man, knowing he, he's like 36. So you don't know how many chances you get at going to the conference finals and competing at the highest level. So you got to take advantage of the ones that you got. And um, his, his pitch was pretty much um, this might be one of the best teams he, he's been a part of, and, and he think we got a chance, and we can't take it for granted. And I think everybody liked it. What goes Anthony Edwards mind? relaying the message from point guard Mike Conley earlier this week. We had the soundbite uh, in the pregame show. Mike essentially saying he, he does not think anyone's urgency level is any higher than his. He asked his teammates, meet me at my level. And, uh, well, we saw the Wolves answer the bell for their veteran point guard here in game one. 120 to 95 is your final score. Game two, of course, will come on Tuesday. Same matchup, same gym this time, a tip-off just after 6.30, and you can bet that this veteran Suns team, led by Frank Vogel and, of course, Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and Bradley Beal, tons of playoff experience within that big three. They're going to come with their own adjustments after the Wolves made sure to implement all kinds of adjustments after last Sunday's regular season finale loss against the same Suns squad. So impressive stuff here in Game 1, but buckle up, settle in. It's going to be a long Series For Alan Horton, I'm Cal Soderquist about to sign off on our network coverage here after this victory. But if you're listening on our flagship station in the Twin Cities, KFAN 100.3, keep it right there. Max Fuller will have continued coverage of this Wolves win. He'll share his thoughts, his reactions to this victory. He'll take your calls as well. So keep it on the flagship 100.3 KFAN. More reaction from this win here at the Target Center. For our on-site engineer, Adam Van Conant, our statistician, Super Dave Handelin, and for our studio coordinators, Ben Haney and Alex Leibolt, we will talk to you again on Tuesday. Wolves and Suns, Game 2, Minnesota, hoping to protect their 1-0 series lead and make it two wins to begin this best-of-series, uh, best-of-seven series. Tip-off just after 6.30, meaning our pregame coverage comes your way at 6 o'clock. We hope you'll join us then all across the Timberwolves Radio Network. You've been listening to Timberwolves Playoff Basketball, brought to you by U.S. Bank, the official bank of the Minnesota Timberwolves, equal housing lender, member FDIC, by Marvin, custom-crafted windows and doors designed for your world, by Treasure Island Resort and Casino, the exclusive casino partner of the Minnesota Timberwolves, and by Mayo Clinic, your source for medical answers. This has been a presentation of the Timberwolves Radio Network. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger, For the ones who get it done. You can enjoy significant savings and experience terrific values on brand new Chevy Blazers at Mauer Chev in Invergrove Heights and Mauer Main Chevrolet in Anoka. Right now, you'll receive $5,000 off the MSRP on all in-stock Chevy Blazers at Mauer. That's a $3,000 dealer discount plus a $2,000 consumer cash rebate on all in-stock Blazers. Take advantage of the values and the savings on Chevy Blazers right now at Mauer Chev in Invergrove Heights and Mauer Main in Anoka. Visit MauerAuto.com. Whether you own a local business or a global one, you know that these days, generating growth is a challenge. By teaming with Bank of America, you'll not just stay ahead of the curve, you'll move it. With access to experts, award-winning insights, and business solutions so powerful, you'll make every move matter, locally and globally. Visit bankofamerica.com slash banking for business to learn more. What would you like the power to do? Copyright 2024, Bank of America, N.A. Remembering all the ways Minnesota lottery dollars help our state is easy. Just think of this acronym, Beaches Treat Cows. 
It stands for Bees, Education, Agriculture, Canoeing, Habitats, Endangered Species, Transit, Renewable Energy, Air Quality, Trails, Conservation, Outreach, Water, and Sustainability. See? It's easy. Since 1990, the Minnesota Lottery has raised nearly $4 billion to help our very own Beaches Treat Cows. So say I'm in and play your part in helping Minnesota. Hey, it's Chris Hockey. You know, I used to wish I could predict the unpredictable, but then I found Aquarius Home Services and I realized it's much easier just to remove worries instead of trying to predict when problems are going to happen. Like, I can't tell you for sure when the hot and muggy weather is going to start, but I can tell you you're not going to have to worry about it if you schedule your AC tune-up with Aquarius. And for a limited time, they're doing it for 50% off their regular price. And with spring thunderstorms, you better make sure your sump pump is working. For five-star service, check out AquariusHomeServices.com. Aquarius Home Services. Earning the right to be recommended. Sneezing, coughing, uh, stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then, a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief and I tell them Navage immediately. This thing is amazing. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. And now Martha Stewart for Skechers. When I make a dish or embark on a craft project, I always use the finest, most fabulous ingredients and materials. Which is why when it comes to footwear, I love Skechers. Because Skechers is the comfort technology company and uses the most luxurious, innovative materials and designs to make wondrously comfortable footwear with all the fits and features like Arch Fit and Skechers world famous air cooled memory foam. It's exactly the way I'd make shoes. Find Skechers at a Skechers store, Skechers.com, or wherever stylish footwear is sold. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional grade industrial supplies. Count on real time product availability and fast delivery. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Hey, fan listeners, why are you still paying your rapidly ever increasing electric bill? Corey Cove here for Wolf River Electric, your most trusted solar installer and the only elite level installer of Sun Power, the industry's number one brand and the only brand that provides a true bumper to bumper full coverage warranty for 25 years. So don't fall victim to other companies' fine print in their warranties. Visit Wolf River Electric today and ensure that you never pay your electric bill again and to take advantage of a 30% tax credit. WolfRiverElectric.com. That's WolfRiverElectric.com. Now back to the 651 Carpets Plus, home of the next day in Saul Studios, on The Fan. You ask and you shall receive we all said we wanted to see the wolves prove that they had that dog in them and they responded with a resounding ow and howled the suns straight into the moon dominating the second half on their way to a 120 to 95 win it's a party at the target center it's a celebration in the twin cities and we're gonna have a blast during this broadcast max fuller here with the legendary one mark rosen live from the cage at the target center and in a season full of big moments and meaningful basketball when the lights were the brightest and the pressure was the highest the wolves shined rosie max nice to be here with you you know we know it's only game one but it it feels like it's so much bigger than that i think for so many reasons number one phoenix has had the wolves number and then some what they smacked them all over the target center yeah. last sunday the season finale and people are going oh Oh, this is not going to be a good matchup for Minnesota. People are already busting out the excuse computer. Exactly. And they didn't look good. And 
uh, all that went along with it. And Minnesota came out, you know, a whole week to prepare for a game. Obviously, Phoenix had the same advantage. Anthony Edwards getting fresh legs, the whole idea of figuring out a combination of what their strengths are. We saw them on display, especially in that second half. This sets the tone for the series. So paramount to win that first game at home. The Wolves worked all season long to earn that spot. They thought they might even get the first seed, wouldn't miss it by much. Came down to the very last game. But, I mean, their defense, which is elite, number one in the NBA, Phoenix didn't score a basket for seven minutes of the third quarter. That says it all. Their defense set up so much of what they did offensively. So many people we can talk about, obviously led by the Ant-Man. But uh, they left a lot in the tank, I think, as well, and sent a strong message to the Suns, like, Good luck countering and figuring this out by Tuesday night. Yeah, the Wolves, we talked about it out there. They pretty much completely flipped the script on Phoenix, and the Phoenix looked much like the Wolves did during yeah. their matchups throughout right. the regular season. I don't even know where to begin. So many well, different players had gigantic games, but you just mentioned it, Anthony Edwards, who initially early on in the first quarter, I saw some remnants of the last couple of games against Phoenix. It looked like they were sending two at him, sending three at him, were. and he kind of was jumping in the air before knowing what he was going to be doing a couple early turnovers but i thought in that third quarter that's after halftime he really started finding his shot picking his spots and it seemed like phoenix kind of backed off of the double team strategy from him after halftime and anthony edwards just absolutely cooked everybody on the on the suns in particular kevin durant oh, who he had ever. a series of and kevin durant was playing good defense anthony edwards hit a series of difficult shots on kevin durant and was john adam right in his face it got the whole crowd hype and and for Anthony Edwards as an individual, that's got to be so cool. Kevin Durant is his all-time favorite player. He's he's said yeah, that on multiple occasions. So imagine, Rosie, like that's like, who is your broadcast hero? <laughs> like imagine just doing a, a great broadcast, <laughs> and rivaling going... your broadcast hero right in his face. Well, and Durant had a little, you know, smirk on his face like, you know, I get it. Yeah, uh, This is your home court. He there's knew some, that. He's like, there's nothing I can do. Nothing yeah. I can do about it right now. And, you know, Durant came out doing Durant things. I mean, the, the yeah. worst thing, the weirdest thing the whole game was when the fans here chanted and overrated when Kevin Durant yeah. went to the foul line. A future <laughs> Hall of Famer. Yeah. Uh, but Durant did not have much of a supporting cast. I mean, Grayson Allen went out with an injury. He killed him in three-point shots last week, and he went 0 for 3 before he got hurt. We'll have to monitor. He got an ankle injury. We'll see if he comes back. That'll be huge. Uh, Slow-mo went play. out for, for Minnesota. Uh, Kyle we, saw, we saw him limping. It, it, it was uh, when we were doing we were doing pointer, a little yeah, yeah uh, Instagram live kind of pre-fan line, and we saw Kyle Anderson coming up the stairs and he was I'll, in a lot of pain. I'll man. tell you what a celebratory day and afternoon it was here at, at, at Target Center. When I was walking up here to meet you, I saw Alex Rodriguez and Glenn Taylor having a cordial discussion. Wow. That's how wow. kumbaya this afternoon <laughs> yeah, yeah. was. Winning for, for cures the, all, doesn't it, Rose? <laughs> I don't think they I didn't see any paperwork being exchanged, yeah. <laughs> but they were exchanged pleasantries, and there's a lot of that to be had. And again, one game does not a series make, but I mean, there's so much that happened. Uh, in a positive vein, especially with what the Wolves did all year to earn this number one spot. Their defense, their depth, their inside game, Rudy Gobert, Carl Anthony Towns doing what he needed to do. Yeah. Uh, you know, it just, and Mike Conley did not have a good shooting game. He was two for 12. So, I mean, it was. Didn't need him, well, though. No, you didn't. You didn't. And, <laughs> and he still found other ways to affect the game. Seven assists as how about well. Nikhil Alexander Walker. Mike. What my a God. stud. He might I mean, be the MVP of the game. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, on both sides of the ball, he was just absolutely so much incredible. To add. Hit a bunch of big time threes early on in the game. And that kind of, Anthony Edwards, before he started finding his own shot, that's right. how he got involved offensively. He started well, finding the right guy, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, Nas Reed, whoever it was, they stepped up to the plate big time. I had a feeling Nikhil would, would play a bigger role today. He played 29 minutes and, and yeah. to kind of you know get in Devin Booker's face and, 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 and slow things down a little bit for the Wolves defensively because they like the matchups a lot. And, and again, if I'm, if I'm uh, Frank Vogel, if I'm, I'm the head coach of Phoenix, yeah, they got enough talent on this team to come back, but game two becomes all the more paramount for them to figure out how to counter what Minnesota did because I think the Wolves still have more up their sleeve and and they're so bound and determined after these last couple of years. I, I'm looking around, Max, and I'm looking at uh, some of the young fans who are sitting near us in the media area, and I'm going, man, you have no idea the misery the Wolves fans have <laughs> right. endured for decades. <laughs> and to have a moment, even a moment like this, I know it's 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 like it's not they're not going to be satisfied with this game, with this series, 
they got bigger aspirations, but to understand what it's taken to get to this point. Even when they played Houston a few years ago, right. and Jimmy Buckets was here, they won one game here, but it never felt for a minute. In no. the last couple of years, they played Denver last year, gave them a good run, but remember Nas was out, McDaniel was out the year before they had Memphis. This is the and, first time in, in my yeah. adult life going into the playoffs that I have real, genuine hope. Right. Not delusional local sports fan hope, but real, genuine hope that this Wolves team can make a run. And, man, they came out with a big statement they today. They did. Just That's what it is. and Phoenix it's, it's, in the mouth. It's the one game, but it's, it's an opportunity to kind of build on what they did this afternoon. Absolutely. And if you got any questions, comments, concerns, you can text us at 64686. We got the text line up. You can call the fan 1 800 320 5326. Brett Blakemore will handle your call. We want to hear all from you. This is a celebration in the Twin <laughs> Cities. I got a smile. I'm, I was in the media section and I was still rubing out, Rosie. I That's know we're right. not supposed to do that. Yeah, you got to be careful. But yeah, I got to be a little. I was, at first, I was clapping under the table and then by the end of it, I'm just cheering, Who cares? standing up. Yeah, it's, it was such a moment. And in particular, at the end of the game, we're doing the post game interviews anthony edwards i mean just showered with mvp chance from the fans who i mean yeah lots of people are trying to beat the rush but so many people hung around just to show ant and cat that love and you saw it for a moment he looked around he really soaked it in that he's he getting did. all these mvp chants and you i could just maybe i'm reading too much into it but he's the kind of guy that I feel like i feel like he saw this and was like i want more of this i yeah. want to hang on to this feeling and i want to keep feeling this feeling and he himself after he soaked it in and, and, and appreciated the love he said hey we got three more y'all we got to keep going yeah, so I mean, and that's the right mentality to have because this wolves team cannot uh take their foot off the gas yeah, legitimate sellout i mean the, the, it was, they were hanging from the rafters it will be even more so uh tuesday night thankfully it's a six thirty game not right. a nine o'clock game or something like that but not that it would matter but uh you know jj jefferson another jj we had uh justin jefferson on the uh, on center court, and uh, Adrian Peterson was here, and Kirill the other Kaprizov Vikings. You read it. You had your. You did a photo op with Kirill <laughs> yeah, Kaprizov yeah. for Clay. Yeah, me and Zach go in the hallway. Goodness. Dollar Bill Kirill and make Dollar it Bill. rain, Max. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> yeah, that's something I never thought I would see. But that's what I was just saying uh, off the air, Rosie. That's the difference between the Twin Cities and other big right. metropolitan areas. You know, are you, are you going to see Philadelphia Flyers players at the Eagles game? No, I mean, this, the whole city came out to support and show love to the Timberwolves, and the Timberwolves gave that love well, right back by giving them a resounding was, win. With so much uh, conversation, rightfully so, about the NFL draft coming up on Thursday night and what the Vikings are going to do, are they going to move up to get the quarterback, one of those quarterbacks or not, that will not go away for the next four or five Definitely days until, <laughs> until we have that moment on Thursday night. That is for sure. But to have this opportunity now to see him, I mean, win, this game was so important because had they lost this game, would have been the same old, same old. They teased us all year. They had a great, and again, they haven't they haven't done anything but win game one. But it it, it builds their confidence even more, and, and from the fan base, the expectations rise, and they should. I mean, there's Absolutely. nothing wrong with saying embrace it. Your top three seed, our aspirations 100%. should be more than just getting out yeah. of the first round. One hundred percent. So it's a great start and a very festive afternoon here at Target Center. It is a celebration. We're all having so much fun. It's everything is better when the Wolves win. We got some breaks to clear, so we're going to get back at you. But if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, holla at us. 64686 is the text line. 1-800-320-5326 if you want to give us a ring. We got the email booth at KFAN.com. Plenty of ways to holla at us. You could just even run into the Target Center and bang on the glass <laughs> if you want to. We'll let you right in. The Security studio. may not like that. <laughs> yeah, they probably won't like it, but me and Rosie will we'll tell bring them it on. it's all good. It's all good because we're partying up in here. We're live from the cage. Max Fuller, Mark Rosen. This is Wolves After Dark, a.k.a. Wolves Fan Line, a.k.a. Howlin' with the Woo! homies. Hootie hoo! We'll be right back after this on KFAN. This is the fan. Buy two, get one industry best elements window free, including installation. Buildersandremodelers.com. Whether you're an accomplished DIYer or a proud do it for me, give your home an upgrade with a home equity loan from Truestone Financial. With rates as low as 5.99% APR and for a limited time, no closing costs. Your Truestone home equity loan is do anything financing that makes your home more just the way you wanted her. It's your house. Go nuts. It's true, because we're Truestone. Improve your pad at Truestone.org. 
Terms and conditions apply. Closing cost offer not valid with competing offers or promotions. Equal housing opportunity. Hey, it's Garzy from Bumper to Bumper. Everyone's house is different, but they're all the same in one way. We've all got those places where the Wi-Fi just won't go. For you, maybe it's the attic. For us, it was the sunroom. Well, if you had wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you could worry less about these dead spots. Finally, with wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you get fast speeds throughout your home, reliable connection in every room, and power for all of your devices, even when everyone is online. That's wall-to-wall Wi-Fi only on the Xfinity 10G network. Get wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity for a reliable connection throughout your home. Now through June 21st, new customers can get started with gig speed internet for 20 Five dollars a month for two years with no annual contract and free Wi-Fi equipment included when you add unlimited mobile. That's gig speed internet for twenty-five dollars a month for two years with no annual contract and free Wi-Fi equipment included when you add unlimited mobile. Go to Xfinity.com, call one eight hundred Xfinity, or visit a store today. Hey everybody, it's Savannah and Hoda from the Today Show. From the simplest ways to save money to incredible hacks you never knew existed. Just remember, see it, hear it, learn it on Today. Oh, that's genius. You just saved me 40 bucks. Every morning on NBC. Nordo here for Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app with millions of active users. As the leader in daily fantasy sports, Prize Picks makes it as easy as selecting more or less. What do I mean by that? Well, you watch your favorite sports. They have them all, by the way, with basketball and hockey playoffs beginning, golf, MMA events, baseball's every day now, too. So daily fantasy on prize picks, it's perfect for that. But you watch your favorite players. You know a ton about them. Mix and match sports and leagues. Find their statistical projections and select more or less on points, boards, assists, home runs, strikeouts, goals. Stack those projections and stack that cash with prize picks. You can win up to 100 times your money with prize picks. So get in on the action today. Download the Prize Picks app, use the code KFAN so they match your first deposit up to 100 bucks. That's code KFAN when you download the Prize Picks app. If I've won on Prize Picks, I know you can too. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy with Prize Picks. Family Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. It's time to get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data. And you get to choose who joins your family plan starting as low as $25 a line. Does it have to be family? It can be family or people you like. Get more lines and more savings. Switch to Straight Talk for family plans starting as low as $25 a line per month for four lines. Find us at Walmart and StraightTalk.com. For network management practices, visit StraightTalk.com. Family plan discount with four lines all on the Silver Unlimited plan. Taxes and fees apply. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. You can enjoy significant savings and experience terrific values on brand new Chevy Blazers at Mauer Chev in Invergrove Heights and Mauer Main Chevrolet in Anoka. Right now, you'll receive $5,000 off the MSRP on all in-stock Chevy Blazers at Mauer. That's a $3,000 dealer discount plus a $2,000 consumer cash rebate on all in-stock Blazers. Take advantage of the values and the savings on Chevy Blazers right now at Mauer Chev in Invergrove Heights and Mauer Main in Anoka. Visit MauerAuto.com. Most online dating profiles are works of fiction. At It's Just Lunch, we are all about fun, real-life dates set up by real dating experts. Save the fiction for your nightstand and call It's Just Lunch today. Visit itsjustlunchtwincities.com or call 612-355-2727. When you're driving, pay attention to this, not that. Acknowledge this. Ignore that. Distracted driving is dangerous driving. Drive smart. A message from the Minnesota Department of Public Safety. Extra enforcement now on Minnesota roads. From the Your Boat Club Weather Center. This report is sponsored by Lowe's. I Heart Radio weather. Some clouds this evening, mostly clear overnight. Lows in the mid-30s with a frost advisory. Sunshine and warmer for tomorrow. Highs in the low 60s. Rain possible later Monday. I'm meteorologist Mace Michaels. It's 46 right now. Savings. Now that's speaking the Lowe's language. And with my Lowe's rewards, your savings just keep coming with members only offers. Learn more about our new loyalty program at Lowe's.com slash my Lowe's rewards. Subject to terms and conditions, see Lowe's.com slash terms for details. Portions of the following program were pre recorded. From-
From the 651 Carpets Plus, home of the Next Day Install Studios, this is FM 100.3 KFXN, Minneapolis, St. Paul, The Fan. As the buzzer sounded at the end of the game, I saw a couple kissing in the stands. <laughs> and what better visual to capture the love story that is the Timberwolves and the Twin Cities. The whole city is rocking tonight after the Wolves smacked Phoenix in the mouth with a 120 to 95 win. Max Fuller here with Mark Rosen and John Barry MC. John hey, B. John, hey, what's going on, y'all? The so Timberwolves hype. Can you get us hype coming out of the Let's red go. Get us hype. Right Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. You had to push the buttons to get those get people to wear uh, the white T-shirts. Yeah, yeah. The game. I know you were, you were you were selling it hard, my friend. Gentle nudging. Yeah. So. Gentle. <laughs> Wait from, out. We're from, all one here. We're all one. Right. we're all that's one. Right. We're all united. And the Timberwolves were united. If we sat here and just broke down every individual game, we'd be here until nine o'clock, yeah. Rosie. I mean, no almost kidding. everybody on the team had a gigantic game. We got a texter texting in right now that wants to talk about Jaden McDaniels. They thought he played really well today mm -hmm. uh, and they said do you think he can keep up the good work in the series well i think yeah i mean Jaden uh has the versatility to certainly put some points on the board i think he was three for seven today but you know he he's kind of a shutdown guy i mean I, it, they put him out there to whether put him on durant put him on booker he's he's versatile enough to to give you those quality minutes defensively and and we know i mean we, we talk all about the, you know the highlight packages and watching ant do his thing slam fl high flying slam dunks and everything else but you know the signature of this team is their de team defense and yeah. when you get in the playoffs i mean you guys watched enough basketball and i thought we've watched a lot of regular season games the switch is flipped when the playoffs begin that was yep. the, the intensity Absolutely. and the physicality of this game, mm -hmm. and the rest, for the most part, you know, they let a lot of stuff go. I mean, right? I mean, it was. It was <laughs> we got uh, fans still clapping yeah, outside they're, they're the glass. Go. People go. are still in the Target Center rocket. Let's, <laughs> let's go! go. <laughs> Hour after game day. Yes, let's go. Yeah. I'm going to have to. I don't know what Max is going to do. Yeah. I don't either. Max, yeah. Max. Bring it in, Max. We got 15 more wins to go before we have the parade. This is only one. I'm going to lose my voice. I'm already unbuttoning my shirt You're since it's a party. To I'm going to be butt naked by the end of the series, Rose. The Target Center is rocking. Yeah. And we're all having a fun. But like you guys said, like it's the intensity was right right out the gate oh, from the Wolves. It, 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 it was incredible. Just hustling, hustling hustling it's something we did we didn't see particularly against the suns all regular season well that's the difference it's regular season you you get yourself in a situation to earn that home court and then you got to take advantage of it and that's why this first game for so many reasons as i mentioned was so important to set the tone uh chris finch and his staff did a marvelous job i think this past week of you know a lot of film study we heard a lot of guys talking about it we, heard mike, it. we heard mike conley Go to his teammates and go. This this is the most important series I've ever played in. The most important run. I've been waiting a long time for this. Rudy Gobert, the same thing. And those are leaders on this basketball team uh, that are very impressionable for these young players to hear. You know the team captains. And it's a. I know Jimmy Pete was talking about it. Even on a tweet, he talked about the team unity uh, from the front office to the. I mean, well, that whole thing's a, beyond the sale thing, which has nothing to do with the players. But there's a there's a there's a unification feeling on this team right now that does have a lot of carry a lot of weight. Would you agree? Absolutely. There was an expectation coming into today's game to do what they did mm -hmm. all season long. That was a game that I could have said that was in January. Did the exact same thing. You could see the scramble defense from some of those plays. I saw Phoenix try to take it down, and then they got back very quickly and found their defense again and really shut down. You talked about uh, Jaden McDaniels. Devin Booker was. Oh, excuse me. Uh, let me find this out. Five for 16 right. from the Ooh, floor today. Yeah, yeah. Five of 16. That's Man. the kind of defense that that team can do and has done all season long. And yeah. Devin Booker, he got a healthy dose of Jade McDaniels, yes, a healthy dose of Nikhil Alexander-Walker, yes. and coming at him. Anthony Edwards, In probably waves. our three best wing defenders, and he couldn't do a thing about it. By the second quarter, all of the whole Suns team was looking incredibly frustrated. You could see the frustration on everybody's face uh, on Phoenix. They were like, they didn't know what to do. Everybody was flying around that 
is the most defensive excitement I've ever I've ever had as a Wolves fan. Like the defense <laughs> gets me excited to watch them just shut down an opponent like that, and you can see the crowd get behind it once they, that defense locks. Yeah, it. even going to back to 2004 when you guys were too young to remember. No, I was there. Oh, you were there. I was there. Yeah, I was there. When Max was too young. Yeah, Max was too young. I was, I was but, in the fourth grade, but, still trying to color was, the lines. Know, yeah. KG Spreewell, Cassell, Wally Zerbiak, they could put points on the board. We went. They went all the way to the Western Conference. I mean, they. They had opportunities, but they didn't have a defense like this. No, they didn't have no, the depth, not at all. Especially after Cassell got hurt. But yep. the depth they didn't have, but the more importantly, the defense. And this is now we're in that that rotation where defense is gonna win games and potentially a championship. The de- the defense was flowing right into the offense. Oh, mm-hmm. You could exactly you could, you could tell. I mean, like in the Wolves, they tried to play with pace early on because they knew that Phoenix was sending two three guys at Anthony Edwards, two or three yeah. guys at Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah, we were who, ready for it. We were talking about it off the air. Carl Anthony Towns basically played the role of like a post point guard and that mm-hmm. was something that a lot of people saw on the tape is every single time that he was in the post they were sending at least two guys at him in the past games against phoenix guys had open shots Nikhil alexander walker didn't necessarily cash in on him jade mcdaniels didn't necessarily cash in on him but today carl anthony towns found the right guy every time along with anthony edwards who they i mean they just absolutely well, blitzed both of them on defense yep. but the wolves the, the, the support players opened up the offense i thought for carl anthony towns and anthony now edwards. how do you avoid uh, getting too full of yourself Right. I mean, that's the thing between now and Tuesday. You're home. You got another day. You can you know, break down the film. You know, Phoenix is going to come back out. Of, as, as I've talked about before, it's always a series is always a game of adjustments and Phoenix is going to make their own adjustments. This isn't their first rodeo. They've got guys who pin in championship. I mean, in, in playoff series type of, of situations. So it's going to be uh, even more important for Chris Finch and his staff to kind of figure that out, but really not having to change a whole heck of not a lot. lot. I no. think uh, keeping up with Towns and Carl, getting to him down low, and like you said, giving him the point guard uh, in the post, kind of act, and then have him pass it out and kick it out, and making sure those people hit that shot, those shots yeah. over there. Uh, we got Crystal watching all the way from Cape F- Flor- Cape Coral, Florida, wow, nice, nice. texting in saying this team talks a lot about maturity, and today it felt like mm-hmm. everyone was playing team ball. Who Absolutely. will be the quiet hero in this series? And wow. I would say. I mean, it wasn't so quiet, but Nikhil Alexander Walker was, was all, he, he was the MVP of the first half. Anthony Edwards obviously took over 18 points in the third quarter, but Nikhil Alexander Walker, I believe he had four steals tonight, which mm-hmm. is the most by a Wolves bench player in playoff history. Granted, the Wolves don't have the most, you know, illustrious playoff history, but still he made a huge impact defensively and hit a lot of big shots from three offensively. Yeah, as well. I, I'm going to go with the big guy in the middle, Rudy Gobert. I mean, the controversial Incredible. trade that was made and can the two bigs play with each other they've both been you know they had the towns's injuries for a couple couple different seasons but i think i think rudy's the guy he has such an intimidating presence inside and he can make his shots but i think there's you know certainly phoenix doesn't have an answer uh, for him no and, and that's a whole other thing now if they go on we'll talk we'll, plenty of time to talk about future <laughs> opponents and they got a long ways to go before they win this series but you know, Nas Reed has a lot more to give, I think. So, so as far as an unsung guy, guy comes off the bench, the most popular player, arguably, on this team when he comes yeah. off the bench is Nas. Nas they, Reed they, chance. They, Before he even oh scored a single God. point, there was Nas Reed chance yeah. ringing out the target he's, center. He's, he's just soaking it up, and he should. He's just a cool dude. Uh, yeah. You talked about Rudy Gobert. I saw him guarding Kevin Durant. I was at the yeah. with the top of the key, which is unheard of for a 7-3 guy to guard right. Kevin Durant. And yeah. the fact that he kept him in front of him, that just shows you – Rudy is the defensive player of the year, hands down. He's going to win the award and well deserved. But so uh, there's a, a lot of elements to this team, and I think we saw it. The more the game went on, we could see that the Wolves just have too much depth. Absolutely, uh, right now for this for this Phoenix team. And Phoenix can light it up. We've seen. I mean, yeah. Booker's probably not going to have that kind of a game. Um, Beal probably not either. We'll see if Grayson Allen can come back from his, his ankle injury. But you know they they got guys that can can light it up for a long time, so it's up to them to keep up that defensive uh, effort. I know you got to head out soon, really pretty quickly. But, but sure. we're, we were talking about Rudy Gobert. He almost single handedly out rebounded the Suns. The, the rebound advantage was incredible. We want to talk about hustle. Just yep. look no further than total rebounds. Fifty two rebounds wow. compared to twenty eight. The Wolves led the, the Phoenix Suns. I mean, and we saw it early. They they were out hustling them, out physicaling them. Uh, rebounding like crazy, and I think at one at one point in the first half, the second chance points were something like fourteen to zero. You could tell the uh, Wolves were not going to. They were hustling, get yeah, after the ball, even after a missed shot, and that, that's the kind of stuff. That's just effort. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. That's just effort, and 
they knew the importance of having the, this first home game and uh, and what they needed to do. And it's just nice to see them as we, as we have a lot of this year uh, in the third quarter, just uh, ex, you know, exert their will, as they say. And they did it on Phoenix today. Absolutely outscored Phoenix by 10 in the third quarter. The third quarter was, I mean, the Achilles heel of the Wolves for the last several years. But this year, they've completely flipped the script. Correct. And the third quarter has been their biggest quarter all year. And they showed it once again tonight. We're going to take a quick break. But if you got right, any man. more questions, comments, concerns, you can holler at us. Rosie's checking out. He's got important things to do. He's going to go make it rain at the booth. I'm make it. Yeah. No, I'm not. We just talked to Crunch off the air. Yeah. We're powering the T-shirt cannon. We're firing uh. off Hundreds at the VU all night. Drinks on Rosie, Craig y'all. Kilborn is going to be waiting for me and my lovely wife. And uh, we're going to go celebrate the first win tonight. <laughs> right, Good seeing you, my Good man. See we'll you see you too. Tuesday night. Yeah, of course. Thanks for joining us, Rosie. My pleasure. Me and John B. will close out Wolves fan line, a.k.a. Wolves After Dark, a.k.a. Howlin' Ahoo! With the homies right after this on KFAN. KFAN. The Fan. And BigDeck.com. Want to help put a grand in your hand? Listen weekdays for your shot to win. Common here and so is spring, and that means deck building season. Don't let some company convince you to do it yourself. That'll cost you more money. Let the pros at BigDeck.com take your deck project from start to finish. You won't be disappointed. Visit BigDeck.com today. That's BigDeck.com and get your deck on. Family Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. It's time to get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data. And you get to choose who joins your family plan starting as low as $25 a line. Does it have to be family? It can be family or people you like. Get more lines and more savings. Switch to Straight Talk for family plans starting as low as $25 a line per month for four lines. Find us at Walmart and straighttalk.com. For network management practices, visit straighttalk.com. Family plan discount with four lines all on the Silver and Limited plan. Taxes and fees apply. Hey, it's Garzy from Bumper to Bumper. Everyone's house is different, but they're all the same in one way. We've all got those places where the Wi-Fi just won't go. For you, maybe it's the attic. For us, it was the sunroom. Well, if you had wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you could worry less about these dead spots. Finally, with wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you get fast speeds throughout your home, reliable connection in every room, and power for all of your devices, even when everyone is online. That's wall-to-wall Wi-Fi only on the Xfinity 10G network. Get wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity for a reliable connection throughout your home. Now through June 21st, new customers can get started with gig speed internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and free Wi-Fi equipment included when you add unlimited mobile. That's gig speed internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract contract and free Wi-Fi equipment included when you add unlimited mobile. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Made to shine. Real stories from Shane Company customers. I couldn't believe all the colors of stones you could choose from to create an engagement ring at Shane Company. I didn't even know there were like 16 colors of sapphires. And they had so many diamond shapes. I just didn't know what to get. They asked me where we met. And I told them we fell in love in the Caribbean. They showed me their light blue aquamarine. And I was like, that's it. The color of the sea. It was perfect for her ring. Exquisite diamonds and vibrant gemstones in a rainbow of colors. Shane Company. Fine jewelry since 1929. Barrero for Samaritan Town. Let's state the obvious. You're busy. Your time is limited. The folks at Samaritan Tire appreciate this. They appreciate it so much that when you buy a new set of tires from them, they'll come to you to install them. You want them to come to your home? They'll do it. You want them to come to where you work? They'll do that too. At Samaritan Tire, with half a century of equity, they'll do what works for you. Their place, your place, wherever, and done in one hour. Samaritan Tire, locally owned with two prime locations, Minnetonka and Southdale in Edina. Go to SamaritanTire.com. Don't let spring allergies make you miserable. Try the quick drug-free solution trusted by over 4 million people, Navage. Only Navage uses suction to flush out your sinuses using refreshing saline, helping you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. And here's even better news. Navage is now available at your local Sam's Club in a great new value pack. It's everything you need to start breathing better immediately at Sam's guaranteed best price. Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. Thanks for calling Discover. This is Gabby. Hey, Gabby. It's Jennifer Coolidge. Hi. Um, I'm so glad I reached you at 2 a.m. Oh, of course. Anyone with a Discover card can call and talk to a real person 24-7. Now, how can I help? Yeah, I used my Discover card to buy these yellow pleather pajamas, and I'm just not sure I'm pulling them off. 24-7 U.S.-based customer service. It pays to Discover. Limitations apply. Learn more at discover.com slash credit card.
Now back to the 651 Carpets Plus, home of the Next Day Install Studios, on the fan. Max Fuller here following a big time Wolves win. We are live from the Target Center. This is Wolves Fan Line, a.k.a. Wolves After Dark. Even though it ain't really that dark yet, security looking at me crazy. I swear I'm supposed to be here, brother. Wolves Don't worry, Golden Hour. Wolves a Golden <laughs> Hour. Wolves at the golden time of day. And that was the golden dulcet tones of MC John B. Wolves hype man closing you out here, leading you up to some hockey coverage after a big time basketball win here in the Twin Cities. And this is Howlin' with the homies. This is Wolves Fanland. So we want to hear from you, the people. And uh, up first, I want to throw it to Eddie from Prior Lake. Eddie from Prior Lake, you're Howlin' with the homies. What's good, brother? Max, how's it going? So the, I got two things. One quick one is, uh, is it time for Phoenix to start the buses without Grace and Allen? Because our defense is just too much. And yeah, the yeah, other thing can... is... Uh, the other thing is how important is Jaden's selflessness? I know we've talked a lot about his defense, but even when he's having a bad offensive game, he still grinds and hustles and is selfless on the defensive end. He never lets his attitude mess with his defense. So I just think that's super important. And do you think that comes from a team culture? Is that a Jaden thing? Or just kind of how important is that to the overall success of the Wolves? Uh, I mean, I think Jaden McDaniels is integral to the, the entire Wolves success. Rudy Gobert is kind of the anchor of the, the, the paint defense and Jade McDaniels is absolutely the anchor of the wing and perimeter defense and yeah, he's right. He always makes an impact and Jade McDaniels, we all know he's had his struggles with foul trouble throughout the season. He's not the most prolific scorer but he always makes an impact on the defensive end of the floor and that cannot be uh, you know underestimated enough because he, he played a, a great role today he had, and he always gets thrown the toughest matchups. He had to guard Kevin Durant Devin Booker and Bradley Beal today. I mean, these are three top 20, top 25 players in the league, and he handled it with a plum, John. I, I think that speaks to the team culture as well, too, because it is all about winning and getting those 16 wins to get a title. So Jaden's going to do what it, whatever it takes to win. Even, even if his offensive game is not there, he's still going to lock somebody down on the defensive side. 100%. And honestly, we didn't need his offensive game <laughs> no, today. Didn't. Still got a 25-point win and Anthony Edwards led the way with 33 points. He absolutely lit it up in the third quarter. 18 points. John right in Kevin Durant's face. Right in his face. Oh, my God. Just, oh. Just inject that right into all my of it. veins. I needed all of that. Oh, oh yes. And God. then him talking his stuff back to Kevin Durant. USA basketball is going to be so crazy this summer oh if the Wolves win four games. And I, I'm here for it. I'm here for every bit of that. And again, that's Anthony Edwards' all-time favorite player. This is his favorite how, player. How cool is that? that? That'd be like me like talking smack to Howard Stern or something like that. Like, <laughs> I got a better radio show than you, Howard. I would never say that. But I can't even imagine how surreal that he was. He said, I'm here now. Yeah, right. <laughs> the future is now, old man. Speaking of the future, we want to hit Spencer in L.A. I think if this is my man that I know, Spencer is the future of the acting world. Spencer, you're howling with the homies. How you doing, brother? Max, it's good to hear your voice. Great job on the show tonight. Great job in the studio, sir. And thank you for all that you've done for Wolves Nation this year. It's been oh. amazing following all of your coverage. Oh, that thanks, man. Uh, that, wow. that I want to, about to shed a tear up in here, Spencer. Swedberg, Abbott, or... Fredberg and Abbott are geniuses for letting you do what they do. I'm going to give them their props. <laughs> yeah, let's pump the brakes. Let's not get their heads too big now. Genius might be, uh, that might be a little much. <laughs> um, so, guys, all week we were talking about you know, that we were going to make some big adjustment. Maybe we weren't even showing all of our cards in that last game, not trying to give, give away all of our secrets, leaving something in, in the chamber for this game. What did you see us do differently? What did we bring out? What strategy did we implement to get us to where we were in this game from your elite basketball minds? That's it. I'll hang up. I'll listen. And I look forward to what you bring next. Thanks, guys. 
appreciate you, Spencer. John, you, you look like you're dying to answer this uh, question. The first thing that I said, and I've said this to anybody who's asked me, they didn't turn the ball over. They only had 14 turnovers today. When you keep possessions like that and you don't give Phoenix an opportunity to score those many baskets, I mean, we were down 20 in the first quarter last Sunday because we turned the ball over 11 times. We only turned it over 14 this entire game. That would be my first thing. And then throwing the ball down low to Carl Anthony Towns, Who's going to guard Carl Anthony Towns? Because if you put Nurkic on him, then who's going to guard Rudy Gobert? We have two bigs for a reason, and they showed that here today. And I hope they keep doing it in game two. There was a lot of talk about going small ball. How would the uh-uh. Wolves counter no. the, the Suns' prolific perimeter scoring? The Wolves didn't have to go small no, they ball didn't. today. They outbigged the small guys yes. and it was awesome to see and i mean shout out to we, we mentioned it earlier but shout out to carl anthony towns and rudy gobert who yes. played a, a lot of minutes against kevin durant it seemed like the wolves kind of just were like okay yep. ad can get his that's gonna happen no matter who's guarding we're gonna him. lock everybody or else down n- nobody else is getting even a little bit yes. on us so i thought that was great yeah carl anthony towns rudy gobert they've just been incredible and uh yeah i mean i guess aside from that i would say like we like we mentioned before, just Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Edwards making the right play, finding yep. the open guy, and those guys cashing in on those opportunities. We have one, two, three, four, five different players in double digits, and then Jade McDaniel's had nine. So it was just team basketball all around, and our st- our stars shined when we needed them to shine. Absolutely, and we'll get a little bit more from Mike Conley in game two. Um, he only had four points. He was in foul trouble, but I expect Mike, Minnesota Mike, to come through in game number two as well. And Minnesota Mike still made an impact on the court. Yes, he did. Seven assists. He was still diamond left and right as he does. And we're going to dime and throw it off to hockey coverage right here on The Fan, but we'll be back with you on Tuesday night, 6.30 p.m. tip-off. Be at the Target Center, but even if you're not, Make sure to tune in to KFAN 100.3 because we're going to have all of the action here. Alan Horton, Cal, all those guys are going to bring you the best play-by-play calling in the game. And, of course, you know I'm going to be here. You know FC go, John B is going to be here. I'll be back here. Tuesday. Of course, and we're going to do some more howling with the homies. Get out there and celebrate. Go find Rosie with his T-shirt Ooh. cannon. And if you see me in the streets, give me a hootie who the Wolves win 120 to 95 and, are, and lead the playoff series round one by one. We'll see you for game two right here on KFAN.